What up, though? There is always drama around the Los Angeles Lakers organization. Last <laughs> night, they took on the Jazz, and we it was Anthony Davis. We got the Jazz. Twisting an ankle and going down with yet another injury. Looks like he will miss time. Mr. Rose, what does this mean for the Lakers? We're holding on to a playing position. First and foremost, I feel bad for Anthony Davis because I know how much he wanted to try to be available as possible to the Lakers this year, understanding LeBron's advanced in age and he would not only need to play a lot of games in the regular season a lot of big minutes but try to at least net nurture lebron so to speak until he could be fresh into the playoffs and then the abs absolute opposite is now happening yep. lebron james is amongst the league leaders in 30 plus point games and playing like an mvp candidate and anthony davis is dealing with multiple injuries and so I, it they they weren't a team that i saw as a contending team with him in the lineup they're going to be the playing Lakers this year either way. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden, can a healthy AD, if he's able to come back, and I love the emergence of Monk, and Russ made some really good plays, and obviously um, the, the big three at the end uh, by AR. And so there's some things that they can build on. You're going to get some guys back, and you still got LeBron playing dominant. But, man, the lower you start dropping in them standards, Jacoby, the more you start looking like exactly. a first-round exit, even if exactly. you play in because you got to go against the Warriors or the Suns. We saw what happened last year when they played the Suns and they weren't healthy and they got bounced. And, and that's what happened. LeBron still wants to have a parade for some reason about it. But <laughs> I do want to give some props to Donovan Mitchell. You know what I mean? Who, for the Jazz, it was LeBron who dragged his team across the finish line and got them the win. But Donovan Mitchell played really well last night. Again. In particular, in the first half, I like when they – have the ball in his hands. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it, like, he's really herky-jerky. Um, he, he's really actually disciplined being the best player on the team about, like, his shot selection. Good point. And I would like him to actually shoot more and, and, and be more aggressive. Uh, Rudy Gobert, if you look at all of the defensive metrics, he's number one in so many quality stats, and Jordan Clarkson is the reigning sixth man of the year. But... You don't want to overreact to a regular season game, but it was almost like the greatness of LeBron James and the momentum of the Rams winning the championship bullied the Jazz. <laughs> well, well, the really, the Rams though. winning the championship bullied the Jazz. Hey, well, dog, let me tell you something. <laughs> Talk to me. When Kobe scores 60 in his final game, like, he fed off of the momentum of the crowd. You was there, right? Yeah, I was in the building. Okay. He fed off of that, and he Mamba Mike dropped. Last night, they saw Aaron Donald on the front row. Like, there, 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 there was a psychology to LeBron James's attack. When AD went down, you know who was guarding him? Rudy Gobert. And he like, you know what? It's go time. <laughs> it's go time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.